Governor, at this time I am uh, requesting, again, sequestration of the jury in view of uh, the incidents of last night. Um, as the court, I'm sure, is aware, uh, an officer-involved shooting took place in the city of Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. As a result of that, there was some fairly extensive civil unrest that occurred. Um, I would note for the court um, that we have at least one juror who is a resident of that particular city um, and other jurors who have connections to Brooklyn Center. Um, given, the, given that you know, this is obviously a high-profile case, this is a case that uh, evokes a lot of emotion from, for a lot of people, ultimately, Your Honor, the question becomes, will the jury be confident to, to make a decision regardless of the potential outcome of their decision? There's two possible verdicts here, right? Guilty or not guilty. And my concern is, is that these jurors, and it's been an ongoing concern that, that a juror in Hennepin County um, being exposed extensively to the media before, uh, before coming in and serving as a juror, um, being at least initially cautioned only to avoid news about this particular incident, um, you know, we, we've questioned one juror already about whether she had seen some uh, particular pieces of information that had not been presented in court. She, I felt, had credible responses to the court. Uh, but ultimately, this, in, this incident, while it is, I understand it's not this case. I understand that it is not involved, that it does not involve these same parties. But the problem is, is that the emotional response that that case creates sets the stage for a jury to say, I'm not going to vote not guilty because I'm concerned about the outcome. During voir dire, we had many, many jurors who um, dis on both sides of the political or social debate who expressed concern about the out if they don't agree, if, if the public doesn't agree with the verdict. This incident last night highlights and I think brings it to the forefront of the jury's uh, mindset that a verdict uh, in this case is going to have consequences. Um, or, and they've been exposed to, to that uh, already. So at this point, I would request that the court further voir dire, first and foremost, further voir dire jurors as to whether or not they have learned of this, because some jurors may be completely avoiding the media and some may not. Um, so we should, I believe, first voir dire jurors to see what, if anything, they have learned about last night's events. Second, whether those events would have any impact on um, their uh, decision-making process or concerns about their decision-making process. I think that the jury should be sequestered. I think that the jury should have been sequestered. I've made that clear in previous uh, discussions and motions. I think the jury should have been sequestered throughout the pendency of this trial. And I think that the jury needs to be cautioned at the beginning or of every day and at the end of every day to avoid all media. Again, I've, we've had discussions about that in chambers. Um, so I believe, Your Honor, that, um, that at a bare minimum, that's what should happen. Does the state have a position?